Since 2014, the Bobcats have managed to loss to Central Michigan for seven straight games. But tonight, that changed. The Bobcats managed to defeat the Chippewas with a score of 77-69. to This game, although it was somewhat of a rocky start for the Bobcats, they managed to only score a total of 27 points with trailing Central Michigan with a score of 33. It's nice. Uh, I, well, I finally just well, I finally beat everybody in the MAC now, so that's that's a cool accomplishment for real. So, but the main focus just on to the next one. You know, we got BG what Saturday. As the second half came around, it was a different story. The Bobcats had started to pick up some momentum and take the first lead of the second half with 12 minutes and 51 seconds left in the game. A key factor to this momentum was Jordan Dardis and the multiple threes he had scored. By the end of the game, he had a total of 27 points, with seven of those being threes. Yeah, I mean, he's a fifth-year senior. You know, the, the, the fans have seen him grow. You know, they, they, they know him, and they've been with him for five years. And, you know, I'm assuming they know what he went through for two years. And when you see a guy come back like he's done and have the success that he's had, you know, everyone loves that. Um, probably no one more than me. But, um, you know, it's good to see him do it. And, and uh, that's the first time in his five years he's beaten Central Michigan. And, you know, that's one thing he wanted to do, and thankfully we did it. Happy birthday to Ohio University. Great win for Bobcats on his birthday. As OU started to pick up momentum in the second half, Central Michigan started to fall apart. As the Bobcats picked up more points due to Central Michigan's fouling troubles, it made it even easier for the Bobcats to pull out on top. The Bobcats are back on action on Saturday to face Bowling Green. For more coverage on that, make sure to tune in to Bobcat Showcase. I'm your Bobcat Showcase reporter, Jensen Eck.